Hi everyone. So today I wanted to do a mail time with you. I haven't done one in a long time. Um, we're starting to get some of our seeds in. I know for our January um, garden tour, we got some Baker Creek seeds in and I have been planting them. I've planted the chamomile. I've also been picking up seeds from the store and I have been planting them. But this was one of our big orders here from Johnny Selected Seeds and um, I haven't even opened it yet. And so I want to open it with you and we'll open it together today. But um, Friday when I got off of work, um, I thought I was like pre-ordering the Prover, Proven Winners Garden Book and I thought it wouldn't be here till later on this month. So this was definitely a surprise for me. And let me tell you guys, I have been really reading and like studying what they are saying. I'm not done with the book, but I have, I'm loving it already. As you see, I have um, little tabs in here. A lot of times when I read and it's, different things that I want to come back to. I'll go in and I'll highlight it and um, use it as a reference. So you see I got some tabs in here. It's really some great information, great pictures, great garden plans in here because I kind of cheated and, and flipped through, but it's really some good stuff in here. So I'm definitely enjoying this. So this was one of the things that recently came in the mail. So, so far this year, I've gotten a lot of my seeds from um, Johnny's and Baker Creek's. And I've also picked up a few seeds at, um, you know, like Lowe's and um, the PX, the exchange for us, the military base. I have picked up those. So really quick, let me show you some of the things that I've picked up from there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll open up the box. So I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I need to get somewhere and sit down and stop picking up seeds. This is what gets me in trouble every single year. I just have this vivid imagination of all the things that I am going to grow and then sometimes I just get totally overwhelmed. But anyway, um, is these were not in the mail. None of these were in the mail. I just want to show you really quick what I've been picking up. And these were actually from the dollar store. They have seeds that are four for a dollar. And so I wanted to give them a try, especially this one. This is the Garden Bean, the Kentucky Wonder. And the reason why I want to try this is because last year my husband built an oblique. I think that's how you say it. And I wanted to have some type of green beans or peas growing up the obelisk, but um, the variety that I had growing was not the type. It was like the bushing type. So um, needless to say, I did not um, have anything trailing up. So I don't know if I want to use this to trail up. He actually built two. And I also got a, a black eyed Susan vine. So I want to have something trailing up in the garden. Um, to add a nice interest. Um, we also have eggplant. Now I've grown eggplant before. Um, I'm not a big fan of eggplant, but I do like it sometimes sauteed with um, like bell peppers, onions, squash, like I'll throw some eggplant in. And we have pepper. This is the Grand Bell mix. I have carrots here and let's see spinach which i've planted outside in the patio garden and it is already starting to come up and we have swiss chard and i've also planted this in the patio garden outside and this is starting to come up and the watermelon the sugar baby i have planted these in the garden about two years ago i had great success with those so i want to give it a try again this year Okay, so I did a video on the seed tape. I'll make sure I link it below. But this is the Carrot Kaleidoscope Blend. Um, they were really easy to plant. You just dig a trench about a half an inch deep, lay it in there, cover it, and just water it. Now, they haven't came up yet, but um, I've just been making sure that they don't dry out and keeping them nice and moist because this is no lie, you guys. 
um, a few days ago, it was like 78, 81, 82, and today it's like 60 degrees. So I always tell people, this is how people get sick with the fluctuations of um, temperatures and the weather. Like literally, we've gone 20 degrees back down. So you have to be really careful on top of pollen that is everywhere. everywhere. It's like very early this year. I don't, we started getting pollen like January of um the end of january and i've never seen it this early never ever but anyway the pollen is falling the weather is fluctuating so just make sure you take care of yourselves okay so next we have some french breakfast radish this is by fairy morris and the reason why i got this because i was getting antsy radishes are really quick i think this one is 24 days to harvest so I've also planted these um, out in the patio garden and right here it says four to six days to germination let me tell you guys I planted these on Wednesday and by Friday they were popping up I have to go out there and thin them but um, they're really quick and easy if you just want to plant something and you can also um, plant them in a container as long as it's deep enough but if you just really you know you're still um, kind of cold and it loves the cool weather but those are really great and they germinate I think I have a hundred percent germination so next we have the tomato um, rainbow blend and I don't know why I got them because I ordered some tomatoes from Johnny Johnny selected seeds and Baker's Creek so who knows I, I don't know why I picked it up I guess the packaging was pretty um, we also got some jalapeno peppers which I grow some type of pepper every year I've grown pepperoncini which is good um, pickled and I've also grown um, goodness 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 like banana peppers things like that so I always grow some type of pepper we have these uh, basil bush spicy globe now I got these because it gives you like a manicured look and they grow like in a um, I'm gonna put this a little closer it grows like in a ball so you would think that people you've actually pruned it but I guess you don't we'll see but I thought that would be a nice interest to the garden um, kind of like a not really formal but just give it some nice interest um, besides the plants and so I'm going to plant them I'm not sure if I'm going to line them in front of the front raised beds or maybe strategically plant them somewhere but I thought that would be cute and I don't know why I got two packs of those um, lavender we got lavender here and um, I was later reading that lavender is kind of hard to germinate so um, we'll see on that one I'm not sure and we have some phylux here this is the dwarf beauty um, I want to grow these I think I'm going to put them um, in the space that I showed you on the garden tour that was supposed to be the um, flower cutting area but my husband liked it and so I'm going to make kind of like just a, a nice um, garden with different plants. Not necessarily for cutting, but just for some nice, beautiful color and blooms. And this plant, I don't want to um, screw up the name. But um, I was on Facebook and P. Allen Smith had them on one of his posts and they, they were so pretty. And I just happened to go to the PX um, the exchange that's the military um, exchange store that is here by us and I happened to see those and lo and behold they jumped in my cart and ended up in my bag so I'm going to start these in the arrow garden actually and see how that does I have been starting seeds all over um, it is my intention to have my husband build a like DIY grow light shelf because I really like the ones on Gardener Supply, but I don't want to spend that much money this year because there are a lot of plants that I have been looking at um, on proven winners and other transplants that I want to get for the garden. Um, and I just that was not in like one of our 
big investments this year for the garden but i i do love them and i would like to order them but they've the one that i really want is like 800 then i think one was like 600 and i'm like uh-uh not this year so anyway let's go ahead we'll open up the box and see what we have from johnny selected seeds okay so i put on instagram that my husband didn't know it yet that he was going to build this diy grow light shelf and i know i'm going to hear it from him and i know he's going to go on and on and on about it um and he's not going to be happy and he's not going to like it but i'm hoping that if i show him the gardener supply book and show him um how much it costs then maybe he would just calm down and just go ahead and build it but you bet your bottom dollar i'm gonna hear about another shelf that i have purchased and why i can't use the shelf that i have um but i'm ready for it i'm always ready for a rebuttal so I just pulled out pretty much my invoice of what I ordered and then um, they just have some information sheets in here about I guess if you're going to grow in a greenhouse for the cucumbers and uh, just different varieties how they like their soil um, the weeks of harvest transplanting I hope you guys can see this germination temps just some good information trellising different diseases different pests but this is like if you're growing in the greenhouse um, the salanova lettuce production um, is just basically going over the same thing the the different type of temps that they like uh, direct seeding harvesting preparation and they also give you some nice visuals of the salanova collection um i've told you guys i can eat a salad every single day and i have really been enjoying my lettuce and so i'm going to try to get in that window before it gets too hot here um since we're in zone 8b i'm going to try to get in that window to plant maybe one more um thing of different type of lettuce before they bolt and go to seed Okay, y'all, so let's get to the good part. I'm done rambling. We're going to get straight into the box. So the first thing that I ordered were 72-pack trays um, for seed starting. They come five in a pack. And um, so we have those. Each has the drainage holes in there. I don't know if I'll need all of them right now because until my husband builds this DIY grow light shelf, um, I don't have a lot of space to put it right now. I just have a little small table um, in our dining room where I've had some um, fluorescent lights um, from seed starting in the past that I've been using. And so until we can get that built, which hopefully will be soon, um, I'll just have to keep switching out, I guess. So with the 72 cell pack seed starting trays, you, I also have five dome lids. And you definitely want to use those lids when you are um, starting your seeds. It, it has like a greenhouse effect and it will keep those seeds pretty moist for the most part. And then once they germinate, um, you know, you take the plastic dome off and you don't let the seeds dry out. And you put them up under grow lights and um, definitely keep it moist. Next, we have the seed trays without the drainage because when I start seeds, I like to do bottom watering and bottom feeding. And what I mean by that is a lot of seeds are very, very tiny. And if you start your seeds and water overhead, they can just be lost. I don't know. They just, you got a chance of washing them away. So, Bottom watering to me is also good because it helps develop a nice root system because basically you're going to put water in here and you have to make sure that you get the trays that do not have drainage holes. So you're going to put about one, maybe two inches of water in there. You have to eye it for yourself. And then you're going to put your seed starting tray, um, the ones that 
you know, already have germinated, you're going to put this down in here and you're just going to let it sit for like maybe an hour. And that way those roots can go down and find that water and develop a good root system. So we have five of these um, without the drainage holes. Okay, so that was most of the big, the big bulky items out the way. Now, I told you guys I can eat lettuce every single day. And the lettuce that I'm growing now is, uh, you know, I've been kind of leafing it off and it grows up. But the Salanova lettuce is, um, you can like cut it right at that soil line. And um, I'll, I'll link the video where I watched it. Like either it can stay together as a whole head or you can do something and it like separate into leaves really really neat um but this is like a lettuce knife where you can cut it off right down there like at that soil line so i got a lettuce knife here it says sharp let's open it up real quick because i want to see it too i want you guys to see it too Can you see it? So I guess you just take it and you just cut it right off at that soil line. Yeah, it has like a sharp edge right here and here. You cut it right off and then um, harvest your lettuce that way. So for the most part, the rest are seeds. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over the seeds here. Um, let's see what's in this big envelope. Okay, so this is the Salanova Premier Collection, and I just think these are so pretty. I don't know if I was drawn by the color or what I was drawn by, because for some odd reason, I love to see red leaf lettuce. It's so pretty to me, but just look how it's like red and green, and you grow that together, and it's really, really pretty. Now, this is in my mind. It's my mind. So you get four different types and I'm so glad that they separated these because you know a lot of times you can get a variety and they put all the seeds in there like the I think the variety tomatoes that I showed you earlier and you don't know which is which you just have to see what grows. So I like that they separated. This is the green butter lettuce. This is the green oak lettuce, the red butter lettuce and the red oak leaf lettuce. So what is good about it being separated so if you want to form like this checkerboard pattern you know which is which and how to plant each one plant one red one green side by side with each other and you just have a nice manicured um, area with lettuce okay so we're going to grab this pile here I kept let me tell y'all what I kept doing I kept putting things in my cart like I had this cart on Johnny Seeds for the longest I would put stuff in my cart read about certain things then I take stuff out my cart then I put stuff in my cart so this is what was left in the cart okay so we have um, cilantro here I love this I love it um, I love it in salads um, definitely when we're making salsa just all kind of different things I love cilantro and next we have hybrid bell peppers and this is the orange and on here they have on each of the package like the germination um, percentage and they also have when they tested the germination test date so this is um, let's go back to the cilantro this is 88 percent germination and they tested this May of 18 and this is 75% and they tested it December 18 so that's also some good information too because different um, seeds you know store better longer so it's great that they test that and put it on here okay next we have romaine lettuce and look at this this is like 99% germination rate and we have um, hybrid slicing cucumbers, 
hybrid summer squash. And the reason that I've ordered some of these varieties is because I was paying attention to the different um, diseases that they have. And um, I guess these have been bred to kind of um, fight against those diseases. Like you won't have them as much as if, you know, maybe like your heirloom. I'm not sure, but... I know here, because it's hot and humid, we get a lot of different diseases. Definitely powdery mildew. Um, it's so many diseases we get down here. Like, you really have to stay on top of things. Um, in the fall, I always have more success with my fall garden than I do my summer garden because it's just, it's horrible. It is horrible. But anyway, we have um, bib lettuce. San Marzano tomatoes, which I grow just about every year um, because these were like one of the staple tomatoes in Italy and they were so good. I just loved how they would take a simple tomato sauce with San Marzano tomatoes, olive oil, a little salt, a little pepper, and you had a sauce that was packed full of flavor. And we have the piccolini cucumbers. I just saw these and thought they were cute. I think last year when I was at Costco or Sam's, they had these like three to a pack. I thought they were so cute. And we have some more bib lettuce. I'm taking that this is a different variety. I hope it is because like I told you guys, I was just putting, putting stuff in the cart and taking it out. And this video is supposed to be short too. Okay, yes, it is a different variety. I'm hurrying. We have some more um, hybrid bell peppers, and these are yellow bell peppers. We have some Mexican sour gherkins, specialty cucumbers. Let me tell you about these really quick. These are the cucumelons, and I've been on Instagram, and I've heard so many people say either you're going to love it or you're, or you're going to hate it, but you have to try the cucumelons. And so I definitely wanted to give those a try this year. And um, we'll just see together how they do here in Zone 8B. Next, we have the Pak Choi. As you saw on one of our videos, I'll make sure that you link it below. But I grow some type of bok choy every year. And I always have good results from that. Um, we have some Juliet tomatoes. I bought these because... At Finch and Folly on Instagram, she had a post about Juliet tomatoes, and some other people were saying how they how much they love these um, type of tomatoes. So that is why I picked these up. We have some dill here, and we have um, hybrid greenhouse tomatoes. I don't know why. I don't know how these got in my cart because I don't have a greenhouse. So. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so this is the second set of seeds and then we are done. I'm going to be super fast, you guys. So we have more eggplant. We have the, um, it says dianthus, but these are carnations. And I'm going to try to see if I can grow these because I put a post on Instagram. And I'll put my handle there and also link it below where I bought these carnations and I had them for like maybe two seasons, two years maybe. And they would bloom um, two times a year. So pretty, so full of blooms. And one day I was looking at it, didn't look good. And I looked in there and when I say they were infested with snails, they were infested. And I have no idea where they came from. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, the plant ended up dying. I have Cosmos. These are going in our cut flower garden. I have trailing nasturtium. Um, I'm also growing a um, two types of nasturtium seeds that I picked up from the store. I didn't show it in the video. Um, hold on, let me go get the pack real quick because I picked those up from the store also and I've planted all of them, but let me show you the type of nasturtium that I'm growing as a flower this is like a trailing flower so hold on just a second and i'll go get it so here is the papaya cream mix nasturtium i hope you guys can see this but i thought they were different 
So I wanted to try these. They're like a cream and a, it looks like a, a deep red to me, but as you see, like the cream one has those red spots around here. And I'll drop this in the box. I also got the Alaska mix here. So I planted those the other day. I have really been trying to keep, um, keep up with my garden journal. And this was one of the ones that I have to write about. Um, I think I, I planted these Thursday. So they are under the grow lights that I currently have on because I went and got a timer and um, I have them come on at 5.30 in the evening and go off at eight o'clock in the morning. And they're up under the fluorescent lights, the ones that I told you that I have. Now the grow lights, um, shelf that my husband doesn't know that he has to build. I don't know about these lights. These are LED lights, but I was looking online and I think a lot of people say you have to have spool, full spectrum LEDs and then a lot of people use like a um, like a red or blue light. And let me know in the comments about the lighting because I'm just going to try it with the LED book. I can say when I was looking at my arrow garden it's mostly white led but there are maybe like six red and blue bulbs that are in there so i don't know we'll see everything we have to give it a try here are some more cucumbers why do these keep saying greenhouse i must heard somebody say the different type and got them and didn't read it good i don't because i don't have a greenhouse um here is more romaine lettuce they had these little and i wonder are these they had these little tiny romaine lettuces that are really cute and they had like a red a speckled red and a green but they were so so cute and i'll try to make sure that i link those too because lettuce to me is easy to grow and it does not take long for lettuce to grow these are more bell peppers this is red um, stevia this is a natural sweetener I definitely wanted to grow these and maybe put um, some in my smoothies we have eucalyptus eucalyptus sorry silver dollar this is um, going to be part of the cut flower garden we have zucchini squash seeds cherry tomato tidy treats I wanted to try these because you can put these in pots and they kind of trail. They're really small and they look so cute, but um, we'll see how these are. I always grow basil every single year. I either grow the Genovese basil or the um, sweet Italian basil, some type of basil because I love making pesto. So definitely have to grow those. Um, the purple echinacea, I am going to put these. Um, because we're doing companion planting, we're also trying to um, be or as organic as possible. And I'll incorporate these into the vegetable garden. We have more lettuce, more lettuce here. This is a bib lettuce. I don't know what made me get all this lettuce. See, that's my problem. I get online and I start looking at pictures. And this is um, another type of romaine lettuce. Why do I keep having greenhouse tomatoes? I don't know because I don't have a greenhouse. And we have the gypsophilia, which is another name for baby's breath, which is also part of the um, cut flower garden that we have. So on the back of each of the packages, they give instructions. They have the life cycle, the soil and light requirements the height and the harvest of each one. So it definitely gives some good information. Even if you're a starter, I think if you follow the instructions, you will have success with whatever you plant. Okay, so that's it. That's all of our seeds, all of our trays here. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll definitely make sure I keep you posted on everything that we plant and everything that we do. If you like this video, please share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscri subscriber, we would love to have you as a subscriber and also make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time that we upload a video. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.